Hi, I'm Kimberly Allison from Starliner Music. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to continue with my series that deals with blues guitar rhythmic phrasing. First, I'll play rhythm exercise in the key of G, number one, and then I'll break it down for you. Here we go. I hope you enjoy it. Alright, let's break down rhythm exercise in the key of G number one. We have a 12 bar blues and I divided that 12 bars into six two bar phrases. We'll be using the exact same rhythm pattern for each two bar phrase. During the first bar, we'll be playing lead guitar. In the second bar, we'll shift into a rhythm guitar accompaniment pattern. The rhythm for the two bar phrase is this, triple it, triple it, three and four and one and two and three and four and so our guitar solo will be going on during the first bar in the second bar we'll be shifting to this pattern that's what i generally refer to as the blues pattern but you might know it as the jimmy reed or chuck berry pattern there's only one small problem we've played through the first eighth note of that rhythm guitar pattern with our lead guitar part, so we'll have to subtract that eighth note off the pattern. The pattern will sound like this, one and two and three and four and... So we'll play the lead guitar part and then we'll come in with and two and three and four and with our rhythm guitar pattern. In this solo, we'll be using only the G blues scale. Let's look at the fingering at the third fret. Remember, the G blues scale is the same as the G minor pentatonic with the addition of the blue note. Let's go on to phrase one. Here's the first triplet. We have a full bend, two double stops. We do the same thing again for the second triplet. Then we have the eighth notes, full bend, and then the last two eighth notes. And then the first eighth note of bar two into the comping pattern. Here's phrase two. Triple it, triple it, three and four and one and two and three and four and. The first triplet uses the blue note. Here's the second triplet. Three and, four and, we have a whole step bend. And then here's beat one, a bar two, into the comping. On to phrase three. first triplet is minor pentatonic with a quarter bend. The second triplet is the same. The third 
beat is two eighth notes. The fourth beat is two eighth notes with a pull off. And then we end on the note C, which is the root of our chord C seventh. So then we'll be going to the C accompaniment pattern. Here's phrase four. This triplet uses a slight quarter bend. We're back on the G seventh chord change here. So this quarter bend is really about bending the minor third of the chord towards the major third, which is the B natural right here. After the first triplet, we have a pull off. And then we have three and four and with the whole bend one, and then into our G comping. Notice we ended the lead guitar phrase on the B flat essentially. It's really kind of implying the third of G. I know the third is technically a B natural, but still we're, we're approximating a G chord tone here. On to the next phrase. Here's phrase five. First triplet, we have a bend release, pull off. Then we have another bend, another bend, notice we're ending the lead guitar phrase here on the root of the chord, which now is a D7, so this is the root D because we're going over to the D7 chord change or we're playing a D comping pattern here. On to the last phrase. Going straight up the blues scale in these first two triplets. Here's three N, four N, and one of bar two. Notice we're ending on the root, that is a G. And then we're into the G comping. All right, that's it for rhythm exercise in the key of G number one. I'm Kimberly Allison from Starliner Music, and I hope to see you back on my channel soon. <laughs>